Hi. Hello, everyone, and welcome to International Royals TV. Thank you for clicking on this live stream. Please thumbs up if you haven't already. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please check out our community tab for more interesting content. And today, I've got a special guest with me, and they go by the name of Reality Mental Health, RMH. I will put their channel on the community tab after this live stream. So you could check that channel out and we're going to have a follow on conversation on that channel. So please do subscribe. Hello, Reality Mental Health RMH. How are you today? Hello. Hi, I'm great. Thank you. Thanks for having me on your show. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I'm happy to do this. So as you can see from the title of the thumbnail, it is called What Does It Mean? To be Nigerian. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> would you like to start or shall I start? Uh, maybe you start and then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, you start. Yeah. In case, <laughs> in case you might not know, I am of Nigerian descent. Both of my parents are Nigerian. I was born and raised in the UK. And growing up mm -hmm. as a Nigerian in the UK, we, mm. our parents instilled into us respect everyone, family is everything. And the mm. most one I remember a lot is respect your elders. <laughs> that was a mm -hmm. big one for me. Respect your That's elders. True. Okay. So from your experience, what do you think? What do you think is the definition of being Nigerian from what you have experienced as being Nigerian yourself? Yeah, so like you, I'm Nigerian and I was born and raised in the UK. Mm -hmm. Both my parents are Nigerian, so I think we just take the fact that we're Nigerian just from blood and descent, like you mm -hmm. say. Mm -hmm. um having a connection to Nigeria like I've been there quite a few times so having that connection and then eating Nigerian food and also the culture like you said for, um, they're very very big on respecting your elders and also family like you said I just wanted to go back to a point that you raised when you so when you said you've traveled to Nigeria when you got mm. when each time you traveled even as a kid and as an adult mm. when mm. you got to Nigeria did you feel like <laughs> when you stepped off the aircraft did you feel like mm. I'm home did you have that feeling like I'm home <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a very good question so not when I stepped off the plane because the airline lands in Lagos. So I don't feel like that when I'm there. Mm -hmm. But the town that my mum grew up in, mm -hmm. should I mention? Uh, Doesn't matter. Anyway, the yeah. town, the town. Yeah. So the town that um, my mum grew up in, when I'm mm -hmm. there, I feel like I'm at home. Really? And it's just, yeah, it's just this kind of, like, inner peace. Okay. Okay, because, uh, yeah. right, because my definition, <laughs> my definition of feeling at home mm. is, like, li in the literal sense, when I'm actually mm -hmm. my residence <laughs> in mm. the UK, where I live every day. Yeah. Grown up, or, yeah. Grown up, because I'm an adult now. But where I live day to day, that feels like home to me. So I feel me, at home here as well. Yeah. I feel at home here as well. Yeah. Definitely. I feel more at home here yeah. than I do that's, in Nigeria. That's what I was trying to get. Yeah, that's the point. <laughs> yeah. But, like, you know, just that feeling of, I wouldn't even say being welcome because it's like I'm, it's like it's part of me. I, I don't really know how to explain it. Like, yeah. I feel a sense of peace anyway. Okay. That's the only way I can explain it. Mm. Okay, so maybe that's what she meant. Um, well, 
Well, I'll say she. What did she say? Referring to Meghan Markle here, who mm-hmm. recently, or not recently, I can't remember how long ago it was, when she did a genealogy test and found out she was 43% Nigerian. So it's recently. Two years ago. Oh, wow. Two years ago. Okay. So it's not it that recent. Two... <laughs> to me, no. it's. To me, it's kind of the first thing I'm hearing about it. Since this trip, mm-hmm. this three-day trip to Nigeria that happened mm. recently, that's the first I've heard of the genealogy thing. I, I hadn't even heard mm. of it. Don't know where I've been. It must have been living under a rock somewhere. No, not really. Not necessarily. I, I hadn't heard did it. Gene- I think she did the genealogy and she didn't make it public. Right. But then because she's gone to Nigeria now, she's made it public. She's spoken. I think it was actually Harry who mentioned it first rather than Meghan. And um, uh, but the way that the media is telling the story, you know them, they like to uh, <laughs> they like to tell things the way that they tell it. The way that they are saying it now is as if she's only just done the test because right. she's going to Nigeria like she's only affiliating with Nigeria because she's gone on this trip rather than she did this test like two years ago okay yeah so when she said that she felt like she's at home in Nigeria somewhere you've been to for one day and you felt Mm. at home but I'm trying to Mm. recollect it back to what you said when you Mm. when you visit Nigeria you said you felt Mm. like you were home but me as a kids when I Mm. visited Nigeria even as an adult um, Mm. I wouldn't Mm. say I felt at home because number one there's a language barrier (laughs) when we were growing up in our household our parents both parents are Nigerian descent none of us none of them taught us the language so that's already Mm -hmm. a language barrier there and then when you get there and you try to speak the language then you've got your British accent trying to speak Nigerian um, language, but either Yoruba or yeah. whatever culture you're from, I'm Yoruba. So for me to mm-hmm. try and speak Yoruba in a British accent, then they would laugh at you. So how at home do you feel? Mm-hmm. Like for me, I don't think mm-hmm. I can say um, when I got to Nigeria, oh, I'm home, or, you know, I don't know, mm-hmm. just didn't feel like. Mm-hmm much I don't know how to explain it but I feel like my day-to-day residence you feel that's like what you, I feel more at home do you feel like you wasn't welcome then because you couldn't speak the language or uh, no I always felt welcome because our family was there we have a large mm. family we come from a large family we have a large mm-hmm. family in the UK as well and we have a large family back home but um mm-hmm. For me, if I'd have just gone to a foreign country where I've never been before, I've just mm. got there. It's, uh, let me just pick up an example. <laughs> if I've been to, uh, what country can I say? Off the top of my head, I just thought, <laughs> off the top of my head, let's just say I've gone to um, Morocco. I've, mm. I've just found out I was um, uh, 27% Moroccan or 43% <laughs> Moroccan. And I just mm-hmm. went. Morocco for the first time in my life I got yeah. there and I said oh, I feel at home I just mm. think that's quite strange I think mm. your day, day-to-day residents that's where you would feel more at home but mm. everyone's different I suppose but I just that statement kind of baffled me a bit mm. <laughs> yeah um yeah so yeah, as I was saying, um, for me, being Nigerian is a lot to do with um, respect, mm-hmm. you know, um, empathy, um, mm. putting yourself in other people's shoes. Family mm. is a big one. Family is everything, and respecting elders as well. Um, yeah, obviously, being kind, good manners, honest, integrity, and truth. These are all the things that both parents instilled into us growing up yeah and I feel like that is my foundation of being a um, Nigerian and then when it comes mm-hmm. to adulthood and when it starts coming to marriage as well 
people have to remember mm-hmm. that when you're marrying a person, you have been brought up in a certain way. They have been brought up in a different way. So it's two people coming together. And you, mm-hmm. if you're going into a relationship, don't try to change the person. The person is always mm-hmm. going to be the person. <laughs> don't get married with the pretense of thinking, oh, I can change the person after marriage. Yeah. And basically, are you referring to Megan now or to Harry? Uh, or just I'm generally? Just saying, are you referring? I'm just kind of saying, in general, as well, anyone who's going into marriage should yeah. fit remember in the back of their mind or even in the forefront of their mind i'm not just marrying this person i'm marrying the whole family (laughs) yeah so do you mean like in the way that megan has basically separated Um, harry from his family or allegedly because we don't really know the ins and outs of what happened but is that what you mean like that they have instead of megan being an addition to the royal family she she's or maybe it's not her but they've basically the royal family has lost harry rather than gaining yes yes and plus Mm. um if she has not had good relationships with her own family from the beginning Mm. you would think that Mm -hmm. getting married to harry she would um, Mm. take harry's family as her own family so to, mm. as an extension you know of her own family so yeah. that would be the place that she would feel at home you know well yeah yes yeah, yeah yeah so she should like try try to make her husband's home yes her home. exactly and mm. also um going back to the respect thing you know mm-hmm. um Prince Harry, obviously, Prince of England, come on. How much respect do you think that person should have mm. on their name? Mm. Even, mm. you know, as a husband, <clears throat> who's even even as a husband, that's not even a prince. The amount of respect a husband, you know, deserves, especially in a Nigerian culture. Yeah. <laughs> a, a Nigerian. Yeah. Husband. Nigerian husband. Sorry. Yeah, the respect is like top yeah. level. So imagine that coupled with a prince should be utmost respect. Mm. And I'm not getting that um from her vibe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I think you mentioned to me, so maybe just um explain to everyone as well, because they might not have watched all of the Meghan and Harry um, footage of them in Nigeria. Maybe just explain to them, like what you were saying to me earlier about what Meghan did that looked like it was so disrespectful. Um, or if, think... you, if, you, if you don't want to do that. <laughs> no, it's fine. You can also say. <laughs> no, it's fine. No. <laughs> I think yeah, there was a, a piece of footage where she, mm-hmm. where they both went to visit the school, and mm-hmm. um, on greeting, um, they normally give them a gift. I'm not sure there was a schoolgirl with a tray. I'm not sure what was on the tray, whether it was food or it wasn't food. But the girl was offering her the gesture, but in the middle of that, she didn't pay full attention to the girl she didn't take the gift she didn't receive the gift I'm not sure if it was food if it was food I don't blame her for not taking it because you have to be careful what you're eating abroad but the point is she Mm. didn't engage the girl she quickly turned around because the her press or were on the other side so that girl in that moment felt looked as if she was ignored Mm. and that is not very respectful of um, people that have come all the way out to see you and you've not given mm. the full attention. So that mm. was, I felt, yeah, that wasn't very respectful mm. in that part. Did you not see that footage? I didn't see that, but I saw the bit where she was walking, they were, they were walking towards the car and there'd yeah. been people who were waiting 
yeah. to see her, their their new princess, and <laughs> Princess Megan, and um, well, as she has been named by Nigeria. Um, and she just walked past everyone, and they've been waiting there for hours to greet her. Oh, I didn't and, see that know, one. Yeah, so you know the royals usually, if people are waiting to see them, yes. they stand, they talk, they yes. greet. Yes. Even mm-hmm. even if it's not um, for a long time, at least a little bit. Even when Queen Camilla did that, yeah. um, when uh, for Easter, I think they were going into the church. She's like, "Oh, oh, we're struck for time or whatever." I just thought it's so rude. Like yeah. people are, um, people are there to greet you. It's not like they haven't got anything better to do with their lives. They do. <laughs> so because they've made that effort to go and see you, you should pay them some respect. Yeah. And that's and that respect, the actual word respect is just um renowned in the Nigerian culture. That's number yeah, yeah that's the number one yeah. thing. Respecting others, respecting yeah. other people, respecting who you meet, you know. Mm. It's, it's true exactly like you said people are waiting for you the least you could do Mm. is give them the attention speak Mm -hmm, to them mm -hmm. and then exactly even if if, (laughs) because to be fair she's actually an actress so what is an Mm. actress supposed to do even if you're not feeling (laughs) in the moment you are an Mm -hmm. actress act as if Mm. you're happy to see Mm -hmm. them act as if you want to engage with them pretend Mm -hmm. to engage with them you know yeah it's not supposed to be yeah. pretense, pretense or pretending, mm. but if you're not feeling it, that's what you're supposed to do as an actress. You're already an actress. So this that part baffles me as well. But then I think, yes, yeah. there was Instead another... of just walking, walking past yeah. and waving at them. It's very... yeah. There was another instance um, in Nigeria. I don't remember what the event was called, but they were... They went there, they were sitting down, and the lady mm. was bigging up Megan. She said, oh, what does it mean to be a Nigerian woman? It's strong, it's courageous, it's beautiful. Mm-hmm. All these things, she was bigging up Megan, yeah. which I thought was quite nice. But then at the end of the event, yeah. where it was time for Megan and Harry to go up on stage, that same woman that was bigging her up at the beginning when Megan and Harry was on the stage there was a Mm -hmm. space for that woman to walk into so Harry helped that woman up onto the stage being the respectful guy that he is he saw his Mm -hmm. elder he respected his elder and he helped Mm -hmm. her climb up onto the stage so the woman Mm. that was trying that he helped get up on the stage she was supposed to walk into the position empty position that was next to Megan but Megan quickly mm. dragged Harry into that position so that lady was mm. ending up staying on the side and then if you watch the mm. footage um after this if you go onto the community yeah. tab the video that I'm talking about is on the community tab so you could get a better understanding of it so basically, Megan didn't want to stand at the end. That's you not... were talking about you were talking about um, Harry helping the woman onto the stage. There was a space for the woman to go and and stand in to take the picture. So obviously, yes. they had prearranged like where everyone was going to stand. Yes, and then yes. Megan pulled Harry so that he was in the woman's position. Yes, and then the woman couldn't go there. She looked so upset. If yeah. you watch the footage, oh, she was just horrible. Yeah, she and um, Megan and was she... just like, "Oh, yeah." I could see she was kind of saying to her, "Like, oh, you should be all right there." That yeah, yeah, of... <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's how it looked. So that's mm. part of not respecting. Which she just. So that's part of yeah. not res- having respect. For your elders, that's number mm-hmm. one. That's mm-hmm. not having respect for the um, what's it? What's it called? The host. That's having not yes. having respect for the host as well. Standing in a position that the host is supposed to be standing in. That's not yeah. part of respect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then so also, 
for the culture as well. Like, she shouldn't be telling, like you said, the elder person what to do. Like, the elder... Like, basically, in Nigeria, the culture is that it takes a village to raise a child. So anyone who is younger is basically has to respect all adults like they would respect their parents. So if a child is misbehaving outside, like on the street, then any adult has a right to tell them off. So that's how it works. It's just all about respect. And a Nigerian would never even dream of doing what she did. Yeah. (laughs) But she's, she's, she's American. Yeah, but... (laughs) <laughs> Not that I'm saying anything against Americans, like she, she okay, I take that back. She's just Megan. Yeah, because uh, trust me, if Prince Harry, if that lady had expressed that to Prince Harry, oh, I'm supposed to be standing there, Harry would have moved would have, immediately. Yeah, yeah, he would have been like, oh, I'm so sorry. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, Thank you. Yeah, so, Harry's Harry's actually really well. He looks like he's really sweet. Like he is. From, yeah, yes. the inter- I think Diana brought them up very well, both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The interactions I see of him and yeah. the public. Yeah, he's very respectful. Like very you say. respectful. He's got so maybe the traits Harry's of what a Nigerian, Nigerian person should be. <laughs> <laughs> both said the same thing at the same time. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I think as well. Thanks everyone for joining. If you could like the live stream, that would be great would be good encouragement and then also subscribe if you're not subscribed already also if you've got any comments you could leave us some comments in the comment section you can join in the conversation and we'll be able to read those out as well thank you so much for your time also um subscribe to reality mental health channel as well after this um so what does it mean to be nigerian um mm-hmm. have you got anything more to add to this yeah so i think to be nigerian we talked about the culture mm-hmm. so like understanding the culture and being part of it mm-hmm. and then also the food eating like nigeria mm-hmm. has a lot of different mm-hmm. cultures mm-hmm. so we have a lot of different dishes like each tribe has its own like main dish so even the fact that she was offered food and she well if it was food and she she didn't try it or she didn't take a gift like that is that's really kind of offensive uh to Nigerians so basically it's all about respect when it comes to Nigerians and then there's the language as well which I think there's 27 different dialects in Nigeria so um lots of different languages just very cultural very I don't know flamboyant as well lots of colors but as in clothes lots of colors on on clothes um yeah that was another point that was the other thing yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> that was another point people were bringing up um it's best to um do research on a country you're mm. about to visit to mm. find out especially in terms of dress code, um, mm-hmm. dressing modestly, modestly. If you dress, if you dress mm-hmm. modestly, you can't, you can't lose. Basically, you can't go. You wrong. can't go wrong. Mm-hmm. Exactly, because like, um, mm-hmm. yeah, people are not happy saying that her back was out a lot in on the clothing. It wasn't mm-hmm. like, conservative enough. Most of the royals, when they travel, they cover fully. I don't mm-hmm. think I've ever seen um oh actually yes Diana did wear a black um evening dress but I think she wore that in a UK country it was never abroad was it I she, don't think she wore she was... that once and that was yeah. her revenge dress <laughs> <laughs> that was her if you, her, can you see what you're missing <laughs> yeah it's best to dress modestly like you said you can't go wrong by dressing mm-hmm. modest, modestly mm-hmm. so um yeah that was another um would we'll say little error she made by not mm-hmm. finding out the cultural dress um mm-hmm. not cultural dress just um yeah the culture basically it's conservative um what's the word modest dress modestly you know cover I, up shoulders I just, and 
I just think what what she was wearing, if I'm entitled to an opinion, yes. was just very... Um, I just think it's, it was not something that most people would wear. She went to in, in Invictus Games. Yeah. So it's about the wounded soldiers right. and about right. them playing sports. Right. And then also, um, yeah, just visiting. I think they went and did a mental health talk somewhere and then yes, they went to school. the school. They it's went to the school. school. Yeah. Okay. Like, why would you wear a backless dress to a school? It's true. But like, are you saying that? That's an evening dress. <laughs> if that it's was Kate, true. our beloved Kate, yeah. she would have, Kate, Kate would have gone in trousers with yeah. a jacket, a nice yeah. jacket, and then yeah, she would have, she would have like taken part. She would have mm-hmm. p- played um, the basketball. I've seen her doing that before yeah, at she other gets events. In activities, yeah, she really does. She gets involved in activities. Mm-hmm. She knows the right attire to wear. Shows an interest, and she shows an, a real, a genuine interest. Genuine interest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. But I mean, I don't know. Megan comes from a different culture. She's yeah, but American, it doesn't matter what not culture British. You come so from. even mm-hmm. most most countries, if you're about to go to a foreign country, even mm-hmm. without royal protocol, as an as a mm-hmm. lay person, mm-hmm. don't you find out what dress code you can wear of and course. if it's appropriate? Of course, um, you do. Yeah, imagine even if... even even if you're not going to another country. Like I've been invited to a wedding. First mm. thing I'm thinking is, what is the dress code? Because yeah, what's appropriate? You could, yeah, what's appropriate? You could go in a backless dress to one wedding, mm. or you could you could um not be able to wear a knee high dress yeah. at another wedding because yeah. it's in a certain church or something. You know, yeah. you have to find out. Yeah. That's true, but an- another knows. point is, I want to know. I want. I would like to know. <laughs> I'm quite intrigued. Mm. I'm quite interested to know if Prince Harry himself can he not say to his wife because mm. he knows the protocol. He knows what is expected of um, mm. even if they're not royals anymore. He knows what is expected of a dress code. He's been around. His mum taught him everything he knows. Couldn't he mm-hmm. have a side word with her on the side and say, oh, Megan, I don't think you should wear this to this particular occasion. You should wear that outfit to another event. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. So who knows if he's... Because sometimes if a woman doesn't know what they're doing wrong, the spouse should <laughs> say, or, the, or vice versa. You know, if you're yeah. going somewhere with your husband. Definitely. Or, yeah. Yeah. Or you like vice versa. If, if the husband is going somewhere with the wife, or the wife yeah. is going somewhere with the husband, they can say, "Oh, yeah. I don't think that outfit looks right for this occasion. Yeah. Why don't you wear yeah. that instead? That looks really nice on you." Something like that. Yeah. I wonder if yeah, he's true. directing her. Is he even giving her any direction? Mm, well, maybe not. Because as a it, husband, does she, does, yeah. does she allow? Does she allow for him to give her? any direction so a little plug that's what we're going to be talking about next on my channel which is all about mental health we're yes. going to be talking about whether um megan shows signs of being a narcissist but that will be a bit later mm. yeah and yeah my my final kind of thought was yeah she yeah, so she found out she was 43% Nigerian. So now she feels mm-hmm. that Nigerian is home. And then when mm. she felt like Nigeria was home, she didn't do any research to find out the culture, how they dress, uh, <laughs> what kind of food they eat, what kind of mannerisms <laughs> they have, how to be respectful, how to be polite, how to respect your That's husband, a... how to it's... not keep walking in front of your husband respect your husband in public and even if his, the husband was doing something wrong in public don't shame him in public tell him in mm. private stuff like mm-hmm. that she learn <laughs> did she mm-hmm. take that into consideration did before she claim in nigeria did she do that did she shame him she shames him on a daily basis let's just oh. be real she's always walking <laughs> in front of him 
Mm. Always greeting the people first. She's always grabbing the mm. microphone. She's always putting herself first, even before mm. the event host. She's taking people's positions. She wants to stand center stage. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So she's 40. Imagine if she found out she was 43% Moroccan and she went mm-hmm. to an, a Muslim country and dressed And she backless. did that. They, oh, they wouldn't she even. She didn't find out she was half Moroccan. <laughs> <laughs> They, she would go yeah. to events exposing her whole body, not knowing the dress code. Mm, they wouldn't so even allow it. If you're going to claim something, you have to be living that lifestyle. I don't know. Mm. I just, I don't know. And for me, I feel at home in my residence where I sleep every day. That's why I mm-hmm. feel the most at home. I wouldn't go to a foreign country one day and say, oh, I feel at home. It's the first time mm. I've visited somewhere I feel at home. Yeah. And I've not done Yeah, so research. I think it's... Exactly. I think it's different because at the beginning of the conversation, I was saying that I feel at home mm-hmm. in my mum's town, mm. but I have been there on several occasions. I've yes, been there true. when I was young, growing up, and then yeah. obviously and as an adult, I've been Nigerian. there as well. Both, both, both my parents are Nigerian. I've eaten Nigerian food my whole mm-hmm. life, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's very different to just going somewhere for one day and then mm-hmm. saying, oh, I feel feel at home. It's very, very different. Yeah. So. <laughs> mm. And yeah. yeah, And to wrap up, I would mm-hmm. just like to say what my parents instilled in me as a Nigerian mm-hmm. woman is mm. respect, respect, <laughs> respect. Mm-hmm. respect everyone respect elders respect mm-hmm. um everyone you meet res- just respect in general mm-hmm. empathy put yourself in other people's shoes um, yeah family is everything mm-hmm. you don't you know you, <laughs> family is everything no matter what you work through it so that's what i've learned as being a nigerian as well Hi, Mm -hmm. Edmina. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Thank you, everyone else as well that's been on the live stream. Thank you for listening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, that's for (laughs) for what I grew up. That's what my parents instilled to me as a Nigerian. Both my parents are Nigerian, you know, kind, good manners, being honest, having integrity, Mm -hmm. truth, respect for elders, family is everything, Mm -hmm. respect everyone. What else have I missed out? Respect generous. your husband. Generous, mm-hmm. did you say? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, generous. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Respect your husband as well. And also mm-hmm. respect your in-laws as well. And take your mm-hmm. in-laws mm-hmm. as your own family. Yeah. Yeah. Not only your mother-in-law, your father-in-law. Treat the siblings as your own siblings yeah. as well. Yeah. That's yeah. What I'm Taken away Ma- from marriage you. is a marriage of two families, really. Yes. It's not just the individuals. Yeah, that's very or, important. Yeah. You're marrying the family, you are not just marrying the individual. That's a very yeah. good one to take home. Yeah. yeah. And utmost respect for your husband, especially as a Nigerian woman, respect for your husband, especially in public. Obviously, you respect the, your husband everywhere every situation but mostly in public respect your husband do never never let anyone see you belittling your husband in public Mm -hmm. (laughs) and then also he's a prince he's a (laughs) prince (laughs) actually the prince of england prince of england okay utmost respecting who else needs more respect than the actual royal family? Come on. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. Exactly. Oh my Imagine goodness. being a commoner then. Right. In front of her. <laughs> Let's not go there. Let's save Let's that not conversation go for your channel. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Right. So you can wrap up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's very interesting conversation. Um, I guess. If to sum it all up from mm-hmm. what we've said, mm-hmm. it's like Nigerians have a culture of respect mm-hmm. and 
among other things, you know, the food and mm-hmm. um, the country, the, the colourful clothes, diversity of different tribes and different languages and everything like that. Like Nigeria is an exciting place to be, actually. Mm-hmm. It's very exciting. Mm-hmm. Um, Nigerians know how to have fun as well. <laughs> they know how to party. But at the same time, culture, very respectful of your elders and as a woman, very respectful of your husband. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so that's the Nigerian culture. And from what we were saying, Megan, who was saying that she feels like... And respectful there, of your in-laws. Not at, yes, and your in-laws. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, continue. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Megan was not displaying those characteristics. Of respect. So, mm-hmm. yes, mm-hmm. the characteristics of respect. And then also she didn't do her research mm-hmm. so that she would wearing appropriate attire. Mm-hmm. And then, um, yeah, she's just refusing gifts, refusing to speak to people who'd been waiting for her for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, all of these things were not looking good for her. And I'm really disappointed, actually, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. this is this was like... I don't know. If you give people the benefit of the doubt and you give mm-hmm. people chances, yes. mm-hmm. this is like her third, or maybe more than third, <laughs> chance to shine and mm-hmm. to represent. Mm-hmm. And, you know, she'd been given such an honour by the Nigerians. Mm-hmm. Uh, they gave her a title of princess. Mm-hmm. I mean, that should have been a joyous, Mm. celebratory Mm -hmm. just happy happy situation Mm -hmm. if she was well dressed and she made an effort with the veterans and the visitors who were there Mm -hmm. and if she was just respectful this was Megan's chance to shine Mm -hmm. it looks like once again she's blown it (laughs) once again once again yeah I think I mean um, I don't I don't know like to a certain extent just imagine like she's there the whole day she's smiling she's talking to people and then the one time that she doesn't speak to someone or the one time that she moves someone out of the way on stage Mm -hmm. (laughs) is the bit that they show to the world and then they don't show the bits where she's actually being nice to people so there could be a bit of bias in there because we don't really know because we're not there. Well, has she taken an active interest in the people that the event is actually about? Was she engaging mm. with the mm. veterans or the you know the people mm. that were wounded? Um, mm-hmm. What the whole event was about, Invictus. Mm-hmm. Was she? I think I saw um, her giving, um, yeah, I saw her giving flowers to a little girl and Mm -hmm. then the girl wasn't smiling. She just wasn't feeling it. And then Megan says, smile. Oh, are you ready? As in, are you ready to take the picture? Are you ready to take the picture? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that's something that you do with your house friends. With mm-hmm. Catherine, I've never seen her saying "smile for the photo" or something like that. Mm-hmm. I've never seen mm-hmm. that. She, everything is natural. All the pictures that I've taken of her are when mm. she's in her natural element. I've never seen her uh, posing for the uh, press cameras or saying, mm-hmm. "Put your arm around me, take a picture." I've never seen that mm. kind of behavior. I don't know. I just found mm. that quite strange. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can yeah. And on that yeah. Note, let's yeah. Go over. No, I was just thinking, yeah, we can go into the psychology of that in on on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So thank you so much everyone yeah, for tuning in. Which we're gonna have that conversation now. So we're gonna have that conversation. Wanna... Now, yeah, um, reality mental health RMH's channel. So, if you could subscribe and meet us over there for the conversation, and if you would like mm-hmm. to introduce it, 
Reality Mental Health, RMH, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're going to be talking about is Meghan Markle displaying uh, displaying behaviours of a narcissist? So obviously I'm not going to diagnose her with any mental health condition, but we're just going to talk about her behaviour and whether it's what narcissists do or behave like. So it should be very interesting.